Messi, just what have these last two weeks been like for the team, and what's it like to kind of get back out on the court and prepare for a game finally? Uh, this was basically just a testament for real. Um, these past two weeks, we've just been grinding it out. Even though we got shut down for two weeks, kind of stunk, but um, we're, we're older, uh, mature. You know, we got to take care of our bodies, especially we want to play. We're excited, um, and we're two days away now, so it's here. Good, Anil. Hey, Domencio, what's this transition been like for you? Um, you know, going from, from Ryder to Ole Miss, how's it been? How's it been different? I know it's been during a COVID time and all that stuff, but what's what's it generally been like? Um, just, I feel like it's just, you know, nonstop grinding, really like getting into certain things, learning a lot of detail, um, holding myself more accountable than I actually did because it's more players than me on the team. It's a full team of great guys. Um, and I just got to step up. So, you know, it's just, that's all it is, is me stepping up and being able to be one of the older guys and have that experience and, and kind of lead by example. What were you able to do the last couple of weeks? Were you guys able to get together and play at all? Um, no, actually just individual, you know, just individually getting different reps in, working hard, um, trying to stay in shape and just fighting through. Go to bed. Ben City, y'all had a pretty tough uh, preseason leading up to the pause there for the uh, COVID stuff. Was it picking right back up on Monday, or was there some obvious rust out there once y'all didn't start practicing again? Uh, no, it, there was no there was no obvious rust. Um, I mean, just being able to get back, with, just playing with each other right away is was it was fun. Um, everybody was excited to get back. Um, we've been working out for these past two weeks separately. We can't work out with each other, we can't be around each other. So kind of missed each other a little bit on the court. But now it's time to play against somebody, finally. Another team, another opponent on Thursday, and we're looking forward to it. Go to John. How kind of reassuring has like the last, you know, couple of months been? Because obviously when you decide to transfer somewhere, you know, there are some like uncertainties with how you're going to fit, how you'll fit in with the coaching staff, you know, the role how you'll gel with everybody. Has the last couple months been kind of like reassuring for you? Has, has it kind of helped you kind of know, okay, I picked the right place, I'm, I'm ready to get to work, and, and how has that adjustment been? I mean, I knew from the start. Once I chose here, it was I already knew it was up from here. Um, this is a great family-oriented uh, program. Coaches are well, teammates are well, um, fan base as well, school as well. Um, it's, just, it's just more to it. Like this is really, Oxford is more like a family basically to me now. So I'm here um, just adding on to the family. And, and how has it kind of been with Kermit with like how he's going to use you in, in this offense? Like, and um, you know, how do you think you'll kind of fit from a basketball perspective? Um, What's he kind of expecting out of you, I guess? I mean, I'm a Swiss Army knife, like it was said before in a couple art articles. Um, he can use me wherever, wherever he needs me. I'm, I'm willing to be available for my coach and my teammates as well. Go to Parrish. Hey, uh, Demencio, you talked about uh, getting work during the shutdown individually. What was that like? Did you guys have to schedule times at the gym? I mean, what was it like in just getting to the gym and working individually? Yeah, it was, it was a lot. It was a whole process. Um, one guy in the car, carpooling, um, can't have everybody in the car. So one guy, coaches had a, a schedule for everyone differently. Time, everybody come in, get their time in, time in and out. And it's just, it was just a different, you just get more reps than as a whole. So you're just there by yourself getting more reps than you usually would as a full team practice. And I know the staff really wanted to improve rebounding with this team. Uh, what's your take on rebounding among the guards? What's the mentality there? I mean, we, we see the newcomers and the bigs and, and kind of the difference there, but uh, where, where do you think the guards fall in here? Uh, I mean, we have some great guards that can rebound, including myself. Um, I think it's just going to help us be able to push the floor um, and just be deadly in traffic. So I look forward to it. Um, me and my teammates have been working on that. That's a huge um, – it's just one of the main things we focus on as guards, you know, crash the board, you know, try to be big, try to help out the bigs so it doesn't be as hard on them as it usually would be. 
Joe, go ahead. Yeah, Domencio, um, I'm, I'm curious, what's your familiarity with uh, Jackson State? I know you played at Callaway back in 2015, and of course, uh, Wayne, Wayne Brady used to be a coach at Ole Miss. Uh, well, I guess we saw them on the schedule kind of went through your mind and kind of any connection that you may have to I mean, it was, it was fun playing at Jackson State when I was at Callaway. Uh, it was a good game there. We won. Um, I just think really just coming from a school in Jackson and now being in Oxford and now playing against Jackson State is one of my dream, you know, one of my dreams come true. It's going to be fun. Um, but I just look, you know, look forward for me and my guys to really just put the uh, – the nail the donkey, you know, just got to put the pin on the donkey. We got to get right to it. Um, not coming to play, just just ready to go. It's been time. We've been waiting for a long time, and it's time to get serious. Back to Ben. Yeah, Domencio, um, y'all are going to be one of, if not the last, Power 5 teams to get started. How tough has it been for you guys to be putting in months of work in the pause and watch everybody else start, and then now you're finally just like, it's been a tough wait for y'all? Yes, I mean, this weight is like, it, it really just, it tests you as a person. You know, you got to focus up. Like, you can't just let things, you know, take your mind off what you have, like your goals, what you're, like what you set for your, your team and yourself as well. So you just have to push through mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it is you need to do to make sure that you're going to be available for your team when it's time to play. Back to John. You, you mentioned what the adjustment kind of was like these last couple of weeks in these uncharted waters and unprecedented territory. How much has that kind of set y'all back? You know, because obviously, you know, you had to go a couple of weeks without basketball activities and now just going back into playing. Um, I don't I don't think it really set anyone back, really. You know, kind of gave us rest action on the legs. Um, so it should be pretty good. Um, I don't think anybody has memory loss, so we know our plays. We're good. We're ready to go. Uh, we know what we're doing on the scouts. Just get to it.